Hey YouTube, check this out. I found some invaders, some visitors to my house. Maybe because it's winter and it's nice and warm in here. And what you're looking at right now is not a centipede. I showed that centipede uh, months ago. This guy is a silverfish. It is indeed an insect. It has six legs. It has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And right now, I caught him actually hiding under this. This is my tank where I'm raising uh, mealworm beetles uh, for my lizard, and you know, right there, there's a larva. Yeah, as you can tell, I like, uh, I mean, no, I'm sorry, it's not a larva, that's a pupa. Uh, the larvae are the little worm guys right there eating that uh, the little f uh, food snack there. Anyways, this guy was hiding under their tank, just chilling. And I decided to capture him and be like, yeah, how you doing? I'll put you on video. Let's see if we can check out the underside of this guy. Not very often you get to see the underside of an insect because most of us are scared to touch these guys or they're fragile. There you go, check that out. I apologize for the lack of focus here. It's kind of hard to hold this and the camera at the same time, but yeah, now you can say that, hey, I've seen the underside of a silverfish finally. This insect belongs to the order Thysonura. It is harmless, does not bite at all. If you ever see one of these things, you do not need to go out the room screaming. They're very small, they don't bite. The only thing annoying about this animal is the fact that they like to eat uh, the glue off of books, especially old books. They prefer old books as far as I know. Um, their scientific name, uh, I believe it's their species name, Saccharina, suggests that they like to eat uh, starchy type foods. I don't know why this thing is out of focus. There we go. They like starchy type foods. Um, so, basically any kind of carbohydrates they'll tear up. I've never seen one actually eating a book, but I'm pretty sure they do it. They like glue, all that kind of stuff. I have another visitor, though. You haven't seen him, because he's busy walking the top of the uh, tank here. And I'm probably going to let him out. Or her. Not sure what sex it is. That guy right there is a box elder bug. He'll come up soon because this, this guy just loves the top of this thing. Now box elder bugs are what you would call a true bug. It is a hemipteran. That's the order it's in. I don't know where it went. Oh, there we go. That's it. You've probably seen these things. These guys like to hang around the maple and box elder trees in large groups, especially uh, when it's about to get cold, they start huddling together, and then when winter hits, they come visiting your house. I found this guy on my lizard tank. Uh, my lizard was going nuts trying to kill it, and I was like, what is he doing? And boom, this bug showed up. As you can tell, uh, it is a hemipteran because if you look near the, near the uh, thorax, which is the chest area just behind the head, and right below it, there's kind of like a little triangle mark where the wings meet. Most hemipterans have that feature. And you probably can't see it here, but they have what's called a proboscis. It's like, think of it as like a straw or a bit of a, um, some people could think of it as a tongue. I think of it as like more of a straw because that's, you know, it's, it sucks uh, juices out of the plants. Can this thing bite? I don't know. I've never been bitten by a box elder bug. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it wouldn't hurt as much if if it did. Uh, but if it did bite, it wouldn't have any interest in hurting you or killing you. It would be most likely trying to find out what the heck you are. And it's like, oh, that's not tasty. I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah, so right now, he's having a good old time in here. Now, uh, Oh yeah, by the way, these colors here. reason why they're colored like this? It's warning colors. It's to tell you that, hey, I don't taste very good. You shouldn't eat me. And, you know, it only works for the, uh, <laughs> the insects that watch their buddy get eaten. You know, their buddy gets eaten. Well, he's already dead, but, you know, his sacrifice is not in vain. Because now that bird or whatever else trying to eat them will realize that, hey, insects cut it like this, shouldn't eat it. Just tastes nasty. As far as I know, it's not so toxic that you'll die, but, uh, it's just not something you want to snack with. And there's our buddy, the silverfish, who doesn't care. Looks like he's cleaning himself. So you're probably wondering... Well, what the hell am I going to do with these insects? 
<sighs> I love animals, and I see no reason to kill these guys. They're not that big of a pest to me. I mean, the silverfish, I mean, it usually, you know, I haven't seen any silverfish tearing up my book, so I guess he could stay. I'd rather put them down in the basement or something. And this bug, yeah, I'll put him in the basement too, even though it's cool down here. At least he'll find a warm spot. I just don't want them hanging around my room. Uh, last thing I want to do is crush insects in my room and stuff. Well, that's all there is to this uh, little bug day. I told you I'm going to be doing random videos once in a while, especially doing with wildlife. If there's any kind of insect you really want to see, especially when it gets warm out, I will be happy to uh, hunt them down and take little videos of them for you. And it's funny, despite the fact that I love these guys to death, uh, I don't pick up too many insects. I don't know enough about a lot of these guys to uh, just go around randomly picking them up. Although there is a user on YouTube you would love to see. He actually handles deadly spiders. Uh, he actually had a brown recluse and a black widow on his hand at the same time. Maybe I'll link you to that video if you really want to see some creepy stuff. But until then, this is Outlaw2747. Signed to Frig off, and uh, I better go get this bug uh, before he disappears. <laughs>